Alrighty then ladies and gents, welcome to my Overcake tutorial. This is lesson number one, where you will learn about all the different types of numbers and all that crap that's used in the Overcake save files. So you can make scenes like my nuke for example. Okay, um, Boolean. Boolean is either on or off. So it's like this light switch. Turns the light on, light off. It's only got two states, on or off. And this, this is like uh, integer. It's whole numbers. It's like a temperature in your house. You can only adjust the whole numbers. Not by fine detail. Floating point is when you have fine adjustments. So imagine this thing is a floating point. You can turn it real gentle to change the light level. You can go through a lot of um, states. Yeah, so that's like floating point. Um, in certain instances, you can change the values, the numbers to the negative values. So minus 1, minus 0 0.54 for example. Like you might want a minus gravity and it might create a weird effect. Um, a negative value will never work on a binary because you can't have your light switch minus off or minus on for example. Um, I'm not going to try too hard to explain coefficients but basically think of it as a strength or an amount. So if your car's got a big coefficient, your car's going to go fast. Iterations are like, an iteration is the number of times your formula repeats. What's playing in the background is a fractal. If a fractal is a self-repeating image based on one formula. And all that's happening now is it's going from one iteration up to 50. So it's repeating the formula all over uh, again to draw a more complex image. Um, now with OE Cake, I suggest actually leaving the iterations alone. Making the iterations higher won't necessarily make the simulation realistic. In fact, it might do the opposite. And it'll make it work way slower, so you should leave it alone. Unless you really absolutely know what you're doing. <laughs> 